All right, listen. <laughs> time for, for first in football. Let's go back. Oh, look at that handsome guy in the corner. First Ooh. in football. Today is Jalen Hurts' 25th birthday. Hey. So happy birthday happy to the birthday. Uh, great young quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Eagles offensive tackle. They're stunned, by the way. Lane Johnson talked about uh, Jalen Hurts uh, being so impressive at such a young age. He actually said, and I think we have a full screen here to show you. I suppose we do. It doesn't matter, though, really. Uh, he's 24 going on 35. Isn't that a Jennifer Garner movie? Uh, meaning, uh, <laughs> it might very well might be. Meaning he's going to have to retire soon, I guess. But I, what the point Lane's making is the dude's mad mature and does not act like your normal 24, now 25-year-old, even though he's gotten all the money, he's gotten all the accolades, he's celebrated wherever he goes, mm -hmm. Philadelphia loves him, which is a tough you know, uh, nut to crack, and he acts like a guy much older. Yeah, he carries himself with a tremendous <clears throat> amount of humility, which is, like you just mentioned, it's not something that we see every single day, especially in sports with an elite athlete at his caliber. But for me, it, it goes back to him never being satisfied. Like he is never satisfied with what he just accomplished yeah. or what he knows he's capable of accomplishing. He wants more out of himself, out of the guys around him. And when you have a leader like that, anything can happen and typically success follows individuals it, like it him. comes off like genuine like legitimately yeah, genuine. Yeah, I agree. like it's it's not a you know a raw rob it's not like Micah talking himself up that I deserve my own wing he just it's a quiet confidence he goes out there he performs and he gets better every single day it's amazing yeah it goes back to something we've all heard at some point in our lives like there are guys who uh, are about actions some guys are about words right mm -hmm. uh, this is a guy that leads by his actions he's not a big talker but they all he commands respect because he's got the work ethic, like yeah. you being in a batting cage for an extra hour after everybody else, you getting to the facility an hour early to work on whatever it might be, that resonates with people. Mm -hmm. And when you're 24, 34, it doesn't matter. The other guys are pros too. And they know if you're a lazy guy or a hardworking guy, and this kid has just been money good, you know, since he became a Philadelphia Eagle. Yeah, it's easy to follow somebody who actually does it. Yes. Versus somebody who now, always talks Now, can he get about better? It. Like, when you put those stats up, He's top five in everything, mm -hmm. right? Um, how do you get better? Like, if he did that for the rest of his career, he's the first bout all So, let, let's no eliminate question. the record. Agreed. If the record, let's, Fair let's, enough. let's squash that. Go. But when we talk about him passing, yeah. like, last year, he suffered a shoulder injury. He did that for the remaining five, six weeks of the season, injured. Mm -hmm. Like, as a rusher, I don't know if you're going to continue to run as much the older you Probably get. Probably not. But you're definitely going to throw the ball a lot more. You have a more a more chemistry with the guys around you. The rapport is building. He is definitely going to get better. That's yeah. the scary part. Silly question. Do you think we will see in the next couple of years a 6,000-yard quarterback rushing and passing combined? Is that on the table, you think? The way uh, NFL uh, officiates now uh, and the way the game is played, is that possible? I think it's coming. Yeah. It's definitely coming. With uh, the yeah. way these quarterbacks are running the ball and able to throw and the, lead, the rules that He'd allow He'd be the to type of guy that could do it, so I'm yeah. thinking about it. All right, let me go to second in football. Trevor Lawrence now uh, in year two under Doug Peterson. First year under Doug, he went pretty good, at least the second half, because the first half stunk. The second half, oh boy, you want no part of the Jacksonville Jaguars. 15 passing touchdowns, only two picks in the last nine regular season games. And, of course, they get the franchise's first playoff win in a couple of centuries. So they feel pretty, pretty good about Jacksonville football. And that means Trevor Lawrence is feeling pretty good. And I'm telling you, the guy that is going to change that offense is Calvin Ridley. You guys all forget, not all of you, but a couple of you probably forgot how good that kid was two years ago, right before he got suspended for the gambling nonsense. Calvin Ridley, by his own admission, hasn't lost a step. He is hungry. He recognizes he's at a career crossroads. And let me tell you something. Calvin Ridley is your comeback player of the year in the NFL. If you're allowed to win that off of a suspension, probably not. But that's how good I think he's going to be. Yeah, Calvin really is going to be a huge difference maker. But I want to get back to Trevor Lawrence because, yeah. like, coming out of college, obviously the hype was surrounding him. Can he be the quarterback that everyone said that he was going to be, the type of prospect that we expected him to be? Last year was his coming out party. Sure. The second half of the season. Now the stakes are raised. The expectations are there. Mm -hmm. You've done it. 
Can you sustain this and can you improve? We just talked about Jalen Hurts talking about his ability to improve and never settle for the complacency and, and what he did last year. Can Trevor Lawrence improve and build upon what they did? Because the expectations are you are one of the best quarterbacks in this and game. And stop now. right there. This is the first year. He's had a young career. It's only yep. a three-year career. This is the first time Jacksonville comes into a season yes. and there are proper expectations of winning a division of winning multiple playoff games and being in the conversation late December, mid-January. That, that's real. Yeah. That's very, very well coached, stud quarterback, and he's got weapons. That's a different position to play from. Like, we talk about Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes and how they're able to sustain success. Well, they're, they're comfortable being in that position. They understand what the expectations are. They find a way to improve every single year. Now when you are hunting – and being hunted at the same time, can you still stay hungry? Can you still have that passion, that drive to where as though you're the hunter and not just solely being hunted? They are yep. on top of that division. Can Which is why there? the AFC, forget about it. The AFC is just crazy loaded. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about the Jaguars being a team you got to worry about. Woo! I would not want to be an AFC team if I didn't have a rock star quarterback. Third in football right now, Devontae Adams. Oh, interesting. Oh. How Craigie once again is right. Uh, commented on the fact that Josh Jacobs is not in camp and does not appear to be getting to camp anytime soon. He's not being a cantankerous. He's giving it to you straight. I want my dude here because he's that good. Now, the real story out of Vegas that I think is going to cause problems for Devontae Adams are the reports that Jimmy G is throwing the ball <sighs> to everybody. Yeah. On both sides of the line of scrimmage. Yeah. That's a bigger problem. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why he's frustrated about that guy behind yeah. him. Josh That's why he's going to be a jet at the trade deadline. He's going to be oh, somewhere else. else. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Slow way down. Yeah. Slow way down. For me, like this is why it's important to be able to have all your best weapons a part of what you're trying to accomplish. And with the with the Raiders not having Josh Jacobs, it is going to put in a lot more on Jimmy Garoppolo no to doubt. shoulder offensively. That is not who this team is. That is not what you brought in Jimmy Garoppolo to do and say, hey, this is your job. This is your offense. You shoulder the load. No, you knew you had a guy behind him that you could rely on that was going to sustain that running game. You don't have that. It's just what the Raiders have done is just, let's be honest, Everything. just so incompetently stupid. Everything. Like, they trade Darren Waller. You ask Giant fans how he's looked so far. I know it's yeah. only training camp. Yeah. Like, the greatest player they've ever seen play offense, yeah. right? <laughs> you, you don't sign Josh Jacobs. Uh -huh. You tick off your best player now. You get rid of your quarterback who everybody loves. Like, at some point, doesn't the NFL step in and say, we're going to make you sell the team for the betterment of the team? Do you think – do you think Devontae oh, yeah, just not. sits around every day? This has been the biggest mistake of his life to go to this team because it's been nothing but controversy. There was the cameraman thing last year. Like yeah. you mentioned, the Derek Carr thing where he was vocal how unhappy he was. The Josh Jacobs thing. No, he's making a lot of money. He's making a lot of money. He can make yeah. that money <laughs> elsewhere. To be, to be fair, though, Green Bay offered him a lot of money. And remember, he, he went because to Vegas there to go. play with his best friend. Derek Carr. Uh -huh. Once they kick Derek Carr to the curb, if I'm Devontae, I want out. Yeah. And it's going to happen at some point this year. You'll see they start off, you know, one and five, you know, two and six, whatever it is. Do not be surprised if you start hearing whispers. I already put them out a month ago. Yeah, exactly. So I'm way ahead did. of the game on this one. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.